All right, Kevin. Hey. Pick just came down, number 56. I think we rocked the pick. I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but I think in our opening show, I did throw out that we were going to probably or looking at a wide receiver. So we take 5'9", 190-pound, speedy, fast, 4.33, uh, 40, out of Western Michigan. What did you think about the pick, Kevin? Well, I'm excited. I'm always excited when John <laughs> Pete and John pick, man. I mean, those guys, like we said in the last video, I mean, in Pete and John, we trust. I mean, how, how do you go wrong? Um, it caught me off guard, like always. I wasn't expecting it, but he's a deep threat, fast receiver, and he catches a deep ball very, very well, which fits right with Russell. I mean, Basically, they his wheelhouse. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And not only that is Tyler has been our most important special teams uh, player as far as kickoff returns, punt returns and the likes like that. And this guy can do it. I mean, he, he was a special teams player of the year. So in 2020. Right. Dude, I, I, I'm telling you, some of the stats, as I, 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 soon as we got pe- drafted him, I dove right into knowing uh, to find out a little bit more about him. Uh, 2019, he played cornerback and wide receiver. Right. Uh, played both ways, which that's crazy ability right there. Um, he, in uh, a game against, uh, uh, in a game against um, Central Michigan, he had, uh, he had four receptions. Now, on those four receptions, he had three touchdowns and 212 yards. Correct. This guy is a a yak machine. He is going to be yards after the catch. We are going to spread – Waldron is going to spread him out. He's going to use him in all types of places on the field. I think you're going to see him on on fly sweeps. I think, uh, you know, they're going to use him like they use Reynolds or how they used – Robert Woods last last year, and they're going to get just get him ball, get him the ball in space, and let him do what he does. An electric player, I am stoked about this this toy. Like uh, he like I was said, it's another toy for Russell to play with. Uh, I, I, no arguments. I can't disagree with you anywhere. Um, you know, I did read some comments that you know he might not be the strongest guy coming down with the ball, and you know when it's close that. You know, he might not win the battle, but everything I've read, everything I've seen, the guy looks like promise. I mean, I'm excited. You know, before the senior bowl, he went in as a projected six round pick and he was so impressive at the senior bowl against NFL talent. Right. That he turned that from a a, a day or a six round pick to a, a lock in the second or third round. And that's where he went. He went at the, uh, at the bottom of the second round. And he is exactly, uh, uh, he wasn't a reach as far as I can consider. Oh. Not like some of, you know, it wasn't a Bruce Irvin situation, which I love. I love some loose swerving with Bruce Irvin. Right. But, you know, I don't think he was a reach at this point. I think that he, um, he's been compared to Tyree Kill. Yep. Uh, you know, and, and we put a person like that in our offense um, and all it's going to do is it's going to free up, it's going to free up um, Lockett and it's going to free up Metcalf, you know, to, to work down the field or work across the middle of the field. Uh, he, you know, it, you're saying that, that he probably won't win too many one-on-one matchups, right? Well, it's hard to match one-on-one when he runs right by you. Well, and not only that, I, I, you made a good point where he's just going to basically help our other receivers. I mean, the deep ball threat alone is, I mean, he's going to have to take a safety and a corner with him for that, that threat. So that leaves more of the field open for DK and, and Lockett and even Swain. I mean, so, I mean, no matter how you look at it, it's, he's a solid pick. And I know it wasn't my decision. I, you, you called it wide receiver was your first choice um i just thought that it, you know what we have done in this offseason is we have tried to appease russell 
yes. whether we like that or not. And one of the things he has stated over and over is how he wants playmakers. Yep. And this is what he got. He has a play. Yeah. Metcalf playmaker. Yep. You know, Lockett playmaker. Um, um, and now this kid, Eskridge playmaker, Everett playmaker. Yep. You know, Disley playmaker. These guys that Parkinson or Swain. Yep. Or Sua, yeah. whatever you want to throw in there, we have got now some playmakers that are going to spread the defenses out, so they're not going to be able to rush like they were. I um, just I can't be even more happy with what they've done. Yeah, you know, I, I I'm ex- extremely excited. Um, I was hoping that we would, you know, kind of trade down a little bit, but obviously uh, they got their guy that they wanted, and maybe the you know the trade. Uh, Trades weren't as good as they were hoping for. So I, I don't know. Um, here's the thing. Uh, what I heard is if they locked in on a guy and he was there and they didn't think he was going to be there, they were going to take him with this pick. Right. Well, and I know and they, I, traded, they traded up for Lockett. They traded up for DK Metcalf. This guy exactly. was right there at the end of the second round. I mean, yeah. Right in their wheelhouse. Yep. I, I, I'm not going to argue that. I did – I mentioned to you, Dave, that um, uh, I read an article about a week ago, uh, Mm -hmm. Mr. Michael Bumpus with the Seahawks. He called this pick. He said the little, a a little receiver, nobody knows that the Seahawks should consider drafting. And sure enough, that was our first pick. I, he is going to be, uh, you know, could he turn into a Tyreek Hill? Sure. But if he can give us the, production that takes off any type of attention on the other two receivers we have man i tell you that is all yeah. it's going to make everything that much easier it's going to give russell that many more options down the field where he likes to play and you know anytime this guy touches the ball there is a home run threat we're yak talking- baby yak yeah, oh my gosh well we were so talking about yak. this year <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about last week with Richard Penny. If he's healthy, that guy has touchdown ability. I mean, he's got breakaway speed, Absolutely. and so does this guy. I mean, man, I, I mean, you, how how more excited can you get? I, I I love the pick. I love the pick. Um, I'm I'm excited to see now what we do. Uh, what is it, the fourth round? Is it fourth uh, round or fifth fourth, round? Fourth round, I think. Yeah. yeah, fifth round we gave up for uh, our offensive guard. Uh, yeah, Gabe Jackson. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, fourth round. I'm excited. That's that's tomorrow morning. Yep. Um, hopefully tomorrow night we'll be able to hop back on here and say, talk about uh, our two picks that we have tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a, a mighty three or a, a healthy trio going into, uh, into the offseason. Uh, from what I understand, though, they've been talking a lot about that. There's some, uh, there's some um, undrafted rookies that they're looking at some people that they wanted to um, get in the house, <laughs> hopefully. And Seattle's a, a great destination because they've always been able to go out and, and get these undrafted free agent or undrafted rookies and make something out of them. Kevin, is there anybody that uh, didn't, that Seattle didn't take that you're kind of disappointed or didn't fall to them? I have one. Anybody that you, uh, I you know, no, I I don't think so. Um, no, there there was there was one guy I was watching. The, the I was line, watching the, him fall. The I linebacker from that, Notre Dame. That that linebacker from Notre Dame. <laughs> I was drooling. Uh, I was like, oh my gosh, he looked like Cam Chancellor, and, it, and Bobby Wagner had had a love child, and they made him. He I, looked amazing. <laughs> I, but he didn't fall. He went to Cleveland, so now we got to watch him uh, in the Browns uniform. Much. Yeah. Well, no, he went to the Giants, didn't he? In no, he went to the Browns. Oh, I, I'm thinking the guy that went to uh, the Giants, the linebacker that went to the Browns. Just a second, let me double check. All right, I'm gonna, gonna use Google because that's all. That's what I. Yeah. That's what I live for here. So since our last talk, we also. Um, Signed the former first round draft uh, defense tackle, um, Robert. I couldn't even pronounce his last name if I tried. Ngiche. Yeah. I, we talked about it last week. 
you know, we don't think we're done with uh, picking up more D tackles. And there we go. Oh. Perfect example. Um, you know, he's been injured, so we are able to get him inexpensively. And I, I was excited about that pickup. I mean, kept him in the, in our conference, which makes it even more fun because, you know, when we're playing Arizona, he's going to be, uh, have a chip on his shoulder. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he will be a, a guy that comes in and, and does have, uh, I read some things from people saying that, that he was entitled. Uh, he didn't work hard. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, you know, he gets into a system with, in our locker room, which has been that kind of locker room that's turned some of those guys around. And, uh, you know, really, you know, who is the defensive end from Oregon that went, uh, that we brought in a couple of years ago that was a bu considered a bust and uh, now he's, he's doing well. He, he he came in and kind of basically rejuvenated his career uh, in Seattle. Oh, yeah, uh, by the way, Kevin, it was it was the Browns. They took him fifty-two, so just four spots earlier. It's oh. Jeremiah Awusu Kamora. That's it, Kamara. Oh, I I was I like, oh, Giants, he Browns, fifty, fifty-two. <laughs> I know, right? No, it was. Tato, I, I, Tato. Yeah, not really. I, I, I when it when it was the Chargers pick, I was like, I know the Chargers aren't going to pay it, play it, take him because they have had not good uh, luck with Notre Dame linebackers. Yeah, by Teo. Anyway, so Kevin, I think we should wrap it up on that. Hopefully, we'll be able to chit chat tomorrow. Uh, kind of go over picks in the fourth round and and the seventh round, and uh, hopefully, maybe we even trade up and grab somebody else. So, you have a good night, man. Peace. You too. Peace out.